Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm going to show you some things that you can do and some tips and tricks with the LG Wing. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay, everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm gonna give you some things you should do with your LG Wing and then just show off some cool things that I have learned using the phone for the few days I've been having it. Now, these are the things I have learned or some tips and tricks that I do if you do something or if you know something different than what I show in this video, put it in the comments. Let's learn from each other. We definitely can learn and learn more about this phone and what it can actually do. I have been loving the wing so far. And there's some things I don't like, which I probably will come back and do another video about. But let's get into this video because I can talk about this phone probably for hours and nobody wants to listen to me talk for an hour. Trust me. All right, so when you pick up the LG Wing, the first thing you want to do is go into your settings and you want to set up your display, which is under Swivel Home. You want to set up your Swivel Home display and you can do different things on that menu right there. So on the second screen, you can swipe down on the home screen and it will show the quick settings, which I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Also, or you can do an integrated search you don't want to do that. Also, you can change the swipe effect when you swipe the apps on your thing. I'm going to leave it on carousel. Also, if you want to lock your screen, you can definitely lock your screen too. Also, one of the main things about this phone is you can open multiple apps at the same time. If you go to multiple app shortcuts, you can actually open up and train it to open two apps at the same time. For example, if I want to open up Chrome, and then say, I want to open up my ESPN app. If I hit apply, what that does, if you swipe over here and you swipe over, it will open up the two apps that you have. That is actually pretty cool. So you can go in there and set up the different apps you want. Like I have Facebook and Chrome. I love talking crap on Facebook. If y'all not follow me on Facebook, any part of the tech community don't follow me but if you want to see somebody talk crap join me on facebook on my personal facebook but also you can do your email and twitter there's many different apps you can you can combine anything youtube and i got youtube music so you can put any apps you want in there that's actually pretty cool let's go back down the next thing i want to show you is something i learned by just messing around with the phone and it's actually pretty cool you can change the sound the phone makes when you swivel it y'all heard that isn't that so cool and when you shut it too it does the same sound and how you do that is we can put it here you go into the settings you go into sound under system sounds swivel up and down so if you don't want to make anything, you can actually turn it off. But if you want to make like a music box, you can. So let's see. Or a guitar. Or if you want to do the piano. I like the laser. It just sounds so cool. And yes, I can do that swivel all day long. It, it's just, I love it. So if you don't want the pop-up camera to make a sound, you can do that too. So that's just a pretty cool little feature. Something I, I was playing around with and figured out how to change the sound. All right, the next thing you should do when you get the phone is if you don't like the navigation setup, if you don't like swiping up or hitting the back, swiping left and right and hitting back, you can actually change that too. And it's pretty easy to do. You go back into your settings. You want to go under the display again at the top, navigation bar. And if you want the buttons, which I don't understand why you would, but if you do, 
there you go. You can even change the combination. So if you want it that way too, I, 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 yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I just can't do it. So I'm gonna go back. Well, I'm trying to. Well, I can't even use the buttons. I'm used to swiping. So I'm gonna go back, change it back to gestures, and that way, if you like the buttons, hey, that's more power to you. This is a way of turning them on if you want them and use the board, the buttons. So that's a pretty cool navigation bar. Something you can actually set up yourself, customize the phone the way you want it. The next thing I want to talk about is always on display. I should have stayed in the display settings. Always on display. You can change the clock. You can show the display for 10 seconds. You can also make the brighter display if you want to. On here, I don't know how to schedule it for to be on at a certain time. It doesn't show me and I've been looking. Maybe I'm missing something, but if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. But there's no like a scheduled time like most phones have. So maybe with an update, LG can add that. But always on display. If you use it, it's there for you to use. The next thing is also in the display. I don't know why I keep on getting out. But you want to go to your basic home. It's almost like the swivel home. But you can change your screen swipe effect. You want to change your icon shape. If you want Google feed, if you swipe to the left. All of that is done on the basic home. And then also swipe down on the home screen. So this one is important. Before, I think on the V60, it did not have this. You you couldn't, you would have to swipe from the top. So what that does, if I want to go to my notifications, I can swipe anywhere and get to the notifications. On the V60, you have to swipe up top. With this big phone, it would make it really hard. The V60 was hard to do it too. Kind of got nerve wracked. And I just like swiping in the middle. Notifications everywhere. All right, talking about notifications, that's the next thing I actually want to get into. So you go into your settings, you go to notifications. In this screen or panel, you can do a couple things. If you don't like your battery percentage to be at the top, you can turn that off. I leave it on. Also, if you wanted suggested actions and replies, you can turn that off. I don't know why I have that on. Icon badges are with the numbers. I don't like to see the numbers. I just need to know if I have a notification. So I leave it without the number on there. But you can do your lock screen. You can show your icons, show the content, whatever you want to do. This is a great spot. Set the phone up the way you want it. Normally, I have high sensitive notification content. I don't have nothing to hide from anybody. And I have nobody to hide it from. So pretty easy to do. So that was the notification panel. What y'all think? Do y'all do something different than I do? Please let me know in the comment. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the second screen, which is that little 3.9 inch OLED panel. And how you do that is go back to your display, second screen, and then in here, you can show what apps you want on the second screen. And what I mean by that, not every app is suited for the second screen. It will tell you that if you don't turn it off like I did. But if I want like Chick-fil-A on a second app, you can, if you want to do the clock, I can do that clock there, CVS, anything. If I want to do fantasy. Now I have it turned off, but it will tell you that not every app is compatible with the second screen. I'm not really having any problems with it. They all look pretty good. So that's the second screen. You can get in there and select what apps you want to use on that second screen. Let's get into some fun things you can do with this phone. This phone is a multitasking beast. And what I mean by that, you can do many different things with this phone. You can actually have three different apps open at the same time. Let me show you. So I'm gonna clear all this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna open up Facebook. I'm gonna open up Twitter. So if I wanna, have Facebook and Twitter open at the same time. You go up here, you hit the Twitter multi window. I can go to Facebook. So I can have Twitter at the top, Facebook at the bottom. But on the second screen, if I want to open up Instagram, I can open up Instagram. Shout out to Mr. Alan Anthony, phone tech at work. 
I think he got the PS5 today. So if I want to check the PS5, everybody got the PS5. And I still wait on trying to get one. So if I want to do fa Instagram, Facebook on this side, Twitter on that side, you can. Or if you want to do YouTube on this side, you can do YouTube. Let's see. I think YouTube is here. So if I want to watch YouTube videos, I can definitely watch YouTube videos too. Which is actually pretty cool. Fortnite. Shout out to Fortnite. If you're not playing Fortnite, I don't know what's wrong with you. No, I'm just kidding. So you can do multiple things at the same time, which is pretty cool. I know this video is a little bit long, but there's some things you can do with the second screen, which makes this phone really cool. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to show is the camera setup. So if you swivel up, you hit the camera. Bam, you have the gimbal mode. I showed this off in my unboxing i believe but when you do in dual recording there you go look, look at the ugly mug there but what you can actually do too is do picture in picture or dual recording the nice thing though that little button right here above you can record the camera separately and the video will come out separate or you can combine them and make it one which is pretty cool we all know about the gimbal mode. That's why you can use that second screen. But another cool feature, and they have this with the Velvet too, but if you are on Instagram, and say you like Telegram, or you, not even Telegram, if you're on an email, you can do it too. Say you're in your favorite app, I'm gonna delete this because I was trying it out. But say you want to take a picture or a screenshot of that screen here. What you can do is that little button right here will allow you to do it. If you don't have it, you can move it up, which I just did. But once you hit that button, what it does is take a screenshot of your screen. Now, my 5G is a little slow in my room, but there you go. You can instant share your screen, which is actually pretty cool. Now my battery's low too. Another cool feature, so if I get off of here, if you wanna type, you can actually use the bottom as the keyboard. Look at that. That is really cool. You can do that in emails. You can do that on Instagram, Twitter, you can do it in many different spots. So that's actually pretty cool to do too. You just rotate it and you have a big keyboard. Look how big that keyboard is. Vice versa, you can actually switch it around and move the keyboard to the top too, which I don't know how to do it on here. Once you open it, it will let you do it. So say I'm in Telegram again. And if I want to type that at the bottom, this time the bottom is the keyboard. Again, you can do that in emails and everything. This is easier for you to type on. It's just some cool features that you can do. Again, with the maps, I, I think everyone's seen this on their commercial. So you can do the maps here on one side and maybe like YouTube music there. Or even YouTube, if you wanna watch YouTube you can watch YouTube and still get navigation, which is actually pretty cool. So there's many different things you can do. I like the keyboard. I've been typing on the bigger keyboard all the time the last couple of days, and it makes life a lot easier. So that was some cool things that you can do with the LG Wing. Y'all please let me know if y'all do anything different. Did I skip over anything that y'all are doing? I want to learn from my community and my subscribers, even non-subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. That way you become part of the BAM Nation. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up also. One last thing, become part of the BAM Nation by hitting the join button. Become part of the membership on Forest Tech Reviews channel. Also follow me on Twitter at Forest Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation on Twitter. I like talking to people on Twitter also. But until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.